expressway has been built with, say, the initial price was 60 million, uh, 60 billion. Inflation or whatever, it's 70, 80 billion. Kenyans should know that that expressway was not built using public money. It was private money. The only thing is that the concession is 30 years. Okay, it's given to 30 years. I'm told today the private investor is, uh, uh, the cars that are passing through the expressway now are 45,000. Meaning that in three months they have reached 45,000. If it moves to 200,000 a day, that investor will will get seven billion a year. If it gets seven billion a year, it will mean that it will recoup investment within 10 to 12 years. Meaning in another 18 years, it will be making seven, maybe the shilling will have improved or, or down or whatever, it will get about 10 billion every year. To a private investor who has the latitude to take the money out of the country. My, um, Mr. Speaker, position is that the ministry should focus on getting local investors. If that was a local investor, if it was a bank in the country, if it was a SACO, Mr. Speaker, if it was a, a pension fund, they would know that in 10 years, this benefit will recoup to uh, uh, the, the pension fund and benefit the country. So I want us to see positively the private investment on our roads as one way also of creating employment and, and, and growing.